Okay, we're gonna start out. I'm gonna show you what this equipment is and what it does. What are you laughing at? We're gonna learn first with this song. So that's gonna be the song we start with, but let me go over these this equipment first. We've got the CDJ. Basically, you could play music off of a CD or a USB, which we have here, or an SD card. So you put all your songs on there, put it in, and then you can go through like this menu and pick whatever songs you want to play. We'll get there later. I'm going to go over the basic functions of this. So how it works is basically you pick a song. Over here we have Laid Off, Sid Remix playing. Basically, all this does is send an audio signal to the mixer. The mixer, you can control the volume, all this other stuff. And this other CDJ also sends audio to the mixer on a different channel. So you can mix them together and then it all goes out one channel into the speakers. So you're in, in charge of mixing these two sounds together. If it's two CDJs, why are there four volumes? Uh, because you can add like multiple sources. So you could have four CDJs or you could have two CDJs and two turntables or you could have a drum machine and a synth or whatever. And then you can mix it all together how you want. Um, so this is the Pioneer CDJ 2000 Nexus. Um, it's pretty much like the industry standard. Like if you go to a club, there'll be something very similar to this. This is a bit older. Um, and the same with the mixer. This is a DJM 900 Nexus. It's very industry standard. Um, there's different kinds. They all kind of do the basic same shit. But this is what you would see at the club, something similar to this. Um, all right, let me check my notes, my lecture notes. Any comments on the comments? No. What are they saying? It's about to be a natural. Just like, don't believe me. Just watch. I want I want you to take over the touring so I can start a fashion line and work at home. He has like a bunch of outlined notes right now. He's going through. <laughs> I made notes. Okay, so. How am I going to go through this? I'm going to teach you the very, very basics, okay? So, we've got our first track playing here. I'll start it over. The, the way you start over the track is this Q button. When you hit this Q button, it goes to the, the beginning, or basically an auto Q point. The Q point is like where you start. Um, you can set it, or the CDJ can automatically guess the the beginning so it's usually the very first sound but can you set it to any point of the song if i don't want to start it at the beginning yeah you can set the cue point anywhere you want um you can like scroll through and set one but um we'll get into that later we're going to go through the basic principles of mixing before we dive deeper into like the functions of the cdj okay. so what the the basic principles of mixing is <laughs> so basically there's a speed or tempo or bpm it's it's here it says 126 that's 126 beats per minute that's how fast the song is playing so that's 126 um, when i started i played on vinyl there was no screen there was no indicator of how fast it was going so you had to mix by ear Luckily, nowadays, it's way fucking easier because we have these meters that tell you the BPM. How do you change the BPM of the song? So, let me get, I'll get to that in a second. Um, there's, there's a lot of different styles of mixing, but with house music, which is what we're going to do, and what, what I make and what we're going to do, um, it's a very simple, slow blend um there's other styles of mixing like hip-hop with quick cuts and scratching and all that stuff but we're gonna go with house music where you blend the songs together so the general idea is you want to get these two songs playing the same speed so that you can blend the next song into the first song i'm getting there this is the lesson <laughs> i'm explaining i'm explaining how it works for people that don't understand but apparently you understand. So, 
So we're gonna pick the second song here. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, for the second song, it's gonna be my song To The Top with Jay Robinson. It sounds like this. Here, I'll fast forward. Uh, so we're gonna mix, we're gonna start with Laid Off and we're gonna mix To The Top into that. So. How do we do that? We got laid off playing. Here we load it up to the top. And remember the cue point I showed you? Okay, let's do it with the volume up, no headphones. Press the cue, press the cue button. See what it does. So every, so every time you press the cue button, it goes back to the cue point that is set inside the CDJ. If you press it and let go, it stops. But if you hold it down, it plays. Then if you let go, it stops. So you can. Can I just press play? You can just press play, but uh, let me show you how Q can also work. So you can. So you have this playing, and you can kind of get ready. You press it, and then if you want it to keep playing, you can hit the play button, and then you can adjust it. And then so it's, it's not the same tempo, so you hear it sounds bad. So you hit Q and it starts over to right back in the beginning where you started. Isn't there a way to manually make this 126 so that it matches? Yeah, we're getting there. I'm just showing you how the Q button works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can show you. Uh, I can also show you when to stand on the table and tell everyone to put their phones in the air so you can take a picture. But that comes later. Okay, okay. I'm just. I'm impatient. Okay. Bye. So do you understand? Um, do you understand how this Q button works? All right. All right. So you'll see over here it says 126 BPM for this laid off. Right? But to the top is 127. So how do we get it to be the same? You can adjust. This is a pitch. This this is based off of a turntable. So like turntable you adjust the speed of the platter the, the how fast it spins. Um this is the same idea, except it's imaginary. So um, we have this playing at 126 on the right side. On the left side, you can adjust it. You don't have to use your ears, really. Um, it's just a number. You've got to match the numbers. And now the idea is another part of, of DJing is like not only being at the same speed, but playing the next record at the same at the right time. So the the downbeat or the kick drum or the bass drum, the mm, 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 it should hit at the same time. So here, you want to hit this like on that kick drum. Yeah, and you can also yeah, that's right. You can also just hit the play button if you're adventurous. Okay, so now they're going the same tempo. But another important part of mixing is, it's called phrasing. So dance music is put together in bars of four beats. So like, there's phrases of like eight bars or 16 bars. So like, it, it's organized in sets of bars. So you typically have, it's hard to explain. I don't know how to explain bars. So. Eight bars of four beats each would be like a section. So you would want to drop the beginning of this song at the beginning of one of those phrases, of one of those 16 bar or eight bar sections. Like right here at the drop would be the beginning of like a new section. You would drop it there. And then the, the songs are basically, they would line up um, so that when this one is like kind of breaking down at the end, this one would be building up and the impacts would be every eight bars or every 16 bars. So you've got the beat matched, but it's not on, on time really uh, with the phrasing. So let's go over like this. Uh, let me start this over. So 
This isn't vinyl mode. I think it's the most like intuitive mode. I use CDJ mode usually, but it's kind of weird to explain. So vinyl, it's like a record. Here, I'll show you over here. It's like a record. So if you touch touch it, it stops. If you let go, it plays. Um, you can also set cue points if you stop it and you want to put a cue, you press Q. Do I hold it down or just No, you just it? press it once and that's the new cue point. So now it starts there. Um, yeah, so when you're mixing, yeah, let's reset that cue point. There you go. So when you're mixing, um, if you touch this, it's gonna mess you up because it's gonna stop the record. So you wanna touch the side. So you could, it's, if, you, if you wheel it backwards like this, it slows it down a little bit. And if you go like this, it speeds it up a little bit. So say, yeah, 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 yeah. So say we have this playing, and you wanna cue this up, and then you hit play, hit play. So see, you can adjust a little bit. So yeah. you want that that you want the clap to be on the same at the same time. Um, typically, when you do this, you'll be doing it in headphones. We haven't even got to the headphones yet. This is just so everyone can hear what you hear yeah. in your headphones. Um, so let's try to mix this. Let's start it. Cue it to the beginning. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you. <laughs> we haven't even we haven't even touched on the like the EQing and stuff that you do with the mixer. I'm just kind of teaching you how to beat match with the CDJs. Okay, we'll get there. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind this a little bit with this search button. We're gonna go back to this breakdown here. What's the difference between the search and the track? The track skips to you have a playlist on here. The track it will go back. This will if you hit back goes to the beginning. If you hit it again, it'll go back to another. Uh, yeah. So, get this going. Oh. Wait, let's let's check in with people. I feel like we're in our own world. Are you still with us? We want Doritos. Give us Doritos. Oh, DJ camera went out. We'll fix it. <laughs> I'm going to go fix the DJ camera. She's going to entertain you. back baby all right all right my question is see the four bars at the top that are moving like the blue yeah do, do they have to match or no um, I, I wouldn't worry about that it's more you want to go by your ear so like you could feel when that drop came right but are you matching like see the red and the white dashes at the top like are you matching those or no to be honest, I don't know. I, I think that's just like a visual indicator. So if you do match it, those should be synced up. 
Um, I don't know. I don't use that. It's just like a visual reference of the beats. Oh, this this hollow one at the top must be this CDJ. Yeah, yeah. And then you're matching it. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Okay. So now fix it. I think this one's... Okay, so let's try the phrasing thing. So we're going to go back to this drop. All right. Susie, get over here, ready to cue. I know it's a tight squeeze in here. So when this drops, you're going to, I'm going to turn the volume up so you can hear. So when that drops, you're going to hit play or cue or whatever. Feel it right when it's coming. I am nervous. Feel it. Ready? Okay, ready. Hey, okay. Now see, good job. Now we're perfectly matched. So we started at the beginning of this song and at the that final drop of this song. So they should be phrased properly. So you'll hear it. You'll hear as this one comes in. This one will kind of break down a little bit. What is this crossfader? I'll get there in a second. Let's hear how this mixes. No, I'll get to it in a second. I just want you to hear how, see how they kind of kick in and drop at the same time. Don't play yet. Don't play yet. I'm going to show you the mixer in a minute. See how perfectly it's ending, and this is about to drop. You're not even doing anything. This is just the two songs together. The best DJ ever. See? Yeah, yeah. It's because the music is built in groups of eight bars, 16 bars, 32 bars. That's what the phrasing is. Okay. Now, you just mixed two records together. How does it feel? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Round of applause for Susie. Yes, this Anderson with the Susie emote. Oh I love that thing. He unlocked it with the bits. Okay. I'm going to show you the mixer now. This song again. Feels fucking great to mix two songs, right? Yeah. New song. No, I don't want to. So I picked my own songs because I don't want to get like the audio muted by some label that's like, nah. So I know our shit is fine. Dilemos. Shout out. Yo, big shout out to the crew. Kevin Sink in the building. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's go over the mixer now. You know how to use the CDJs. You just did it. You know how to do this and adjust it and all that fun shit. What is what is this tempo reset button here? Um, you don't need to know that right now, but I guess if you were trying to DJ and that was on, you'd be fucked. Tempo reset just locks the tempo in at zero, which is like that the tempo of the song, so you can't change it. So yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So when you're mixing, like you just did. <laughs> nice save. So when you're mixing, there's a lot of bass going on in both these songs. So you you can use these EQ. Each channel has its own set of EQs. So like this is the bass, middle, and highs. So treble, mid-range, and bass. And this is kind of like, it's called a gain. It's kind of like another volume type thing. But you kind of want to only use that when you need it. Um, so... You want the bass and everything to be full on like how it normally would be for this song that's playing. For for the next song coming in, I, I typically would cut the bass out so it doesn't clash with the song that's currently playing. If the middle, like the vocals or something clash, you could turn down the mid-range, but then it only, you only hear like just the hi-hats and the high pitch stuff. What else? Um, oh, I can go to the crossfader. So the crossfader basically, let me go over the faders first. Obviously this controls the volume of each track. 
So that's your Sid remix of Laid Off right here. And then the Jay Robinson and me over here is the volume. But what you can do, the crossfader is more like traditional um, mixing thing for like hip hop and stuff like that. Okay. You you assign the whatever channel to, to an A side or a B side. And then that way, if this is assigned to B, the crossfader on the B side, and then this is assigned to A. So you, So you you kind of you can blend, but not as smoothly as you can with these um, for house music and dance music. It's a bit it's a bit more like accurate. This is cool for like scratching, uh, hip hop and stuff like that. Um, so we'll we'll focus on the, the volume faders. Okay, what else? Let me check my notes. Woo! Yes. All right. So, are you ready to mix with some EQ? Do you know what EQ is? This is a quiz. She's frozen on the comments. Okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to use, uh, you know what? Do your mix again. We'll add the headphones after this one, okay? And you can do it without anybody hearing you previewing this track. It's like your secret world in your headphones, and every DJ is known for wearing headphones. It's like yeah. the icon. So let's do one more like this, and you can mess with your EQs and the volumes and do it yourself. Ready? You're DJing. You're, you're going to mix this song into this one. It doesn't always have to be at the end. If you want to mix early, you could have done it there. It's up to you. You're the DJ. It's like your choice. To how long do you want this song to play? You can also mix over the breakdowns if the songs fit together. Stuff like that. I'm going to take a drink. Um, you could even drop it here in the breakdown. Now fix it. I would go forward. Yeah. There you go. If you know which way to go, yeah. See, now this is the breakdown, but you got the intro going to this, so that's very interesting. Also, you have the bass cut. And you can bring it in and out or whatever. You can actually see what's happening by looking at the waveform. There you go. Now it's an awkward time. You could maybe cut the bass. You could you could salvage this. When this drops, you could just I would pull that volume down. And this is about to drop in a minute. Ready? Yeah, you saved it. See, that's just like you you're messing around, like trying things, and yeah. Okay. So, she's a natural, right? The night claw emoji. Okay, we're going to do... Do you guys think she's been doing a good job? If so, let us know in the chat. God, I love that Susie emote. I'm so proud of that. It looks like she's flying. All right. So, in celebration, Susie, get over here. Get back to class. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you official DJ headphones. Look how cool you look. You'll be standing on tables in no time. Okay. 
We're gonna start over again. I know it's fucking boring hearing the same song over, but we gotta Can learn. We, play one? we will after this. Okay. So she's got headphones on now, so you can now do that mix that we just did out loud secretly. Now let me show you how the Q button works. So the headphones are plugged into the mixer. What you hear from the mixer is any of these things that say Q. So this is the master. These are each channel. This is fucking, I don't know, link, some link. So you can hear, you don't hear anything, right? You can turn this to the master, then you hear, right? Oh, you don't hear anything. Do you hear something? Okay. <laughs> so when you have the cue on this channel, you can hear it, right? This is your volume. Let me, you could turn on the mask. Hold on. Can you hear the mask? Okay. So. Can you hear anything now? Okay. So now you can hear this over here. So what you want to do is match it like you did, but in your headphones so no one knows. And maybe you want to bring your bass down again like you did before for your mixing so it doesn't clash with this bass. Did you drop it when you wanted to? Let's let's drop it on the second drop here. So you got a, you have a few seconds to, to chill. But you're ready, you've got it queued up. Are you ready to mix? Yes. I told you this is gonna be very basic. And it is. But some people just don't know. Susie knows. And you got some dude over your shoulder talking shit in your ear. And a bunch of people dropping your face in the chat. <laughs> Are you ready for Susie to mix? Are you ready, Susie? I'm so excited. Very proud. Now get it matched in your headphone. And then, when you're ready, you can slowly bring it up or whatever to blend it in. Try to fix it. Only you know that. Okay, now you can bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. 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 You did it. You did it. Okay, new song. All right, that was fucking cool. Good job. Um, I will say a couple things. How do I turn the headphone on for this side? So the Q, but so Q means like a Q point on here, right? Yeah. But it also means like your preview. Q is like a preview something that you're gonna bring in. So you can cue this. This is the main mix uh, called the master. That's the output. So if you wanna hear the master, you can turn this in, in here. Okay, okay. Um, so let's mix in a new song. Okay, you ready? You wanna just figure it out on your own? Oh, we'll play some noise. Um, well, that's playing, so you don't do not want to change that, or else it will stop everything. Yes, you can. Let's get to that later. Let's get you mixing first. I have a whole plan here. I have a whole plan. You won't answer any of my questions. How do I browse while this is playing? 
You gotta walk before you run. I'm trying to run. Okay, here's, here's a new song for you. Let's wheel this back a little bit. So you have time to get ready. You have two minutes and 40 seconds. I think you'll like this song. So do your thing. Mix it up. As long as this volume fader is down, the audience isn't going to hear it. The, if this cue button is lit, you'll only hear it on your headphones. No one else will hear it. Oh, it just happens to be the same tempo. <laughs> oh, you changed it. Good job. She did it. I love it. I see you with that head nod. You got that DJ vibe going. Let's cheer her on. We're going to get a new song after this. So the intro of a, of a house song is made to be able to mix and to see how loud and full this song is. The intro to this next song is minimal because you need to be able to mix it. And then once you cut to this, you get the full song. If you started with all those pianos and crazy stuff. Oh, she's mixing. She's mixing. Do it. I would keep this down in the middle. The, the meeting. Oh, here we go. Hey! Oh, you can keep this playing until it drops because you want that constant sound. Yeah, you want that un like seamless blend. You know what I mean? You did it. Do you want to do another one? Okay, let's do that. You jumping into the good stuff. So she doesn't want to go to like the um from one song to a breakdown. She wants to drop. She wants to just cut straight to a drop. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Or do like an interesting transition, not just like starting from the beginning. So you're already an expert. Let's try it. This is great. You're really you kind of know what you're doing now. I'm going to drink this white claw. What the hell is the white claw? We gotta teach her how to double drop, Andy C style, triple drop. Color sick, you're right. She's got the good energy. I think she's about to blow our minds right now. <laughs> Shout out to Hollywood Hector, Anderson, Elena. Happy anniversary to the Kaisers. Oh, yeah. 
So if you want the next song to drop without... Oh yeah, let me show you this at the queue. Let's do the queue for everyone so they can hear me. So, you would, where do you want it to start? You could also scroll through here. Like this. The breakdown? Okay. So, you go to where you want, and then you... Wait. Yeah, you hear that kick drum? You want it right there. So, hit the queue. Hold it, or... Just press it. So when you hold the vinyl, oh, you have to hold the vinyl. Yeah. Or there's another way you can do it. Let me show you the other way. So say you're playing, you can hit pause, and then go back and see how the cue button's flashing. Press it. That sets a new cue point wherever you were. Okay. Um. So now when you start here, let's pull this back. So when you start here. You can, yeah, you know what you're doing. Try it, try it. I would suggest if you're mixing that breakdown into this to kind of bring this bass down a little bit so it doesn't clash. It might not be the same key musically. What? Oh, you didn't press it? All right, well, you get a do-over. Okay. Do over. DJ Susie in the mix. Here she goes. Don't forget to bring it in the volume start over wait I would wait until the phrase ends right here you hear this oh, I missed it until so do you think until you're running out you got 30 seconds here we go yeah. Hey. Here we go. Yeah, there you did it. Straight into the drop. I'm so proud of you. That was cool. See, I can tell you listen to a lot of uh, dance music because you knew exactly what you were doing. All right, you want to keep mixing? It's stressful. You're learning. It's really good. to the gang. Guys, DJing is a lot harder than I expected, actually. <laughs> I like to press a button, but it's really hard to cue up the music. I don't know. And I feel like um, last time I tried to DJ, this song would just end up being over by the time I figured out how to mix to the other song. I have a newfound respect for DJing. <laughs> Just kidding. DJ Snoozy, because she's been slept on. <laughs> DJ Snoozy. Get low, get low, jump back. 
Fucking killing it, Suze. DJ Suzy. Let's play more more noisy. I'm gonna mix this. Uh, I hope I'm a good teacher. I've never taught anything in my life. Get your headphones. Yeah, we're going to play more Noizu. Shout out to Noizu, my brother. I have not seen him in a long time. You need to learn how to say no requests. Bring it in before the, the song runs up. You want to blend it. You have the wrong BPM. That's all right. Try it again. What are you on, Hector? All right. Do over. Hector, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, we got the waxy. Give me elbow. You guys want the hard shit. They want to go from this to Gammy Elbow, which is like the biggest switch. Okay, yeah, I'll show you how to use these controls. It can be a little confusing. So this is playing, so you want to look over here. Um, oh, by the way, the USB is you linked. Hear people talking about you could only have one mind. USB. And there's an Ethernet cable connected to each CDJ, so you could share songs from one USB on both, which is what we're doing. So you hit browse. Actually, link means link to that USB. You can do a search. And then see these letters? Type in... Oh, let's clear it. Type in G... A. You can also slide your finger. No, you're, you're up changing the uppercase. Oh. And then M. You can slide your finger until it highlights and then let go. M. You always hear people talking about. Gammy elbow. Oh, we got the VIP. So turn this little knob down. Yeah, yeah. Press it. And now you've just loaded that song. You will also turn this one off. No. If you want to hear, yeah. If you want to hear this, you have to press this button. I know you guys want Gammy. Free 
Gam Gam. This one goes out to Hollywood Hector. Oh shit, she's already mixing. Go with it. You gotta run with it. You're already there. Mess with these. Oh, this is building up over here. It's okay. Ready? <laughs> it happens. What are, What are your thoughts I got on that? Too eager on that one. I should have waited. Tell them what happened so that they know. I just mixed it in too soon. Ah, the old trigger finger. Okay. She got cocky. <laughs> she got cocky. Elena wants to reload. All right. That Gammy Elbow VIP. Lorenzo VIP. What do you What do you guys want to hear next? <laughs> I agree, Jesse. <laughs> oh, there's another thing we need to learn. It's when you do a bad mix and the two songs aren't mixed well. What do you call that? It's called a train wreck. Like this. That's a train wreck. That's a train wreck. Here we go. How do you fix a train wreck? How do you fix a train wreck? If you're, yeah, if you're in a train wreck, and it's really bad, you should just get out of it. Like, if it sounds like this, if you're going like this, you just cut it out. If it's, like, close, say you've got the tempo locked in, you can adjust it. Hold on. You could fix it like that, but if you got a bad train wreck, you just want to drop out of that shit. Nobody wants to hear that. The, personally, when someone does a little train wreck or like a really loose mix, and then they do the spin back to try to make it sound like they meant to, like, it's usually not at the right time, like just now. It's usually in the middle of the fucking song and it sounds really weird and then it gets really loud. And then. I've heard people do that though. But some people do that on purpose and it works. What do you guys think? Take the bus, yo. <laughs> Here, mix another song while I go pee. Click USB. Oh, this is a search we had. Um. She, she's got it. What do you guys want to hear? See if she can mix it. I just want to use this new emoji. time to look for a song just play something i don't know what you have in your usb though people want their money back <laughs> they want meet me downstairs okay. meet me downstairs meet me downstairs Pause for the, the 
free your mind, free your body, free your soul. But they really don't know what that means. Oh yeah, you can also learn how to scratch. Really how to hey, Petey Clicks in the building. What's up, buddy? Free your mind, free your soul, free your body. How do you turn the volume free your up? Mind, free your soul. All right, we found it. Downstairs. Was fucking fire. Doritos. Drop those Doritos. That was fire. No, you pick a song. So proud. This is called Downstairs by Sid. This is awesome. Now I can stream and not have to mix. I am obsolete. I can fuck around with these little uh, visuals. You want to see our cat? Crackers? I know some of you got that crackers emote. Yo, I said meet me downstairs there she is. at the bar. Park too far. Left the pills in my car. What's that car? Double R. I swear that I'm not a star. I'm Say a hi to crackers. I'm like Mars. Mr. Goham with the bars. 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 I said meet me downstairs. Meet me downstairs. Meet me downstairs. Let's go.
do over. Or you could save it. You got five seconds. Yeah. Ain't shit you could do, but I still hit. My shit black and blue, like I don't play no games and I just swag the rules and I made eight mistakes and in my last one moves. It's easy, but it's not easy. No, it's, it's actually very hard. That bitch bad. That bitch bad as fuck. Big tune though, more Lorenzo. RIP China. PD Clips, I miss you. So for the next one, I'll teach you how to um, set up Rekordbox, which is the software that helps you organize all of the music on your USB, okay? That way you can make your own playlist and uh, be able to flip through songs really quickly. How much wine has the Kaiser drank? phrasing right. Remember what I said about like the bars? I was scared the song was gonna end. You can look at the um, the wave here and see when it's moving. See how much time you have. And it also will tell you, if you press this time mode button, that's how long it's been playing. If you press it again, that's how much is left. Shout out to Shadows on this flip. Shout out to PD Clicks. Oh shit, we need Gilbert. If you kiss, then I will tell. You want me to DJ? Alright, time to train wreck. My DJ, my DJ session is over. He's gonna DJ for real now. Wait, you just need a break. Wow, we've been going for an hour. Okay, so 
That was a pretty good first lesson. You did you did some great mixes. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like I could uh, practice more. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of what the next step would be. I think teach you how to organize your music in Record Box. That's gonna be a fun thing to set up on here. <laughs> Let's do that next time. I'm gonna DJ next time with my own music selection. I agree. You should do that. Let's put another crackers. What do you think about Susie's set? Oh. Shout out to Alice in the building. And next time, Suze, I'll, I'll teach you about some of the effects and stuff on the mixer. But you need to practice. Your homework is to practice a little bit, which I no doubt believe you're going to kill. It. How do you feel about it? I'm going to kill it next week. Yes, she's going to kill it. Let me see that booty roll. <laughs> She's leaving. Susie Saturdays. Yo, thank you guys for joining, man. This is really fun. Teaching my wife how to DJ. Let me see that booty roll. This is new Clank shit called Dip from his Night Base EP that's coming out a long time from now. We have so much music coming out. I think she did a great job. I agree, Shred Light. When she comes back, let's give her a round of applause. Saturdays.
Jump a Dorito for Susie, doing an amazing fucking job today. That was so sick. I'm proud of you. Oh, she asked how I changed the tempo. During that Clank song, there was like a rising part and I just turned it up and nobody noticed. But there's also a master tempo. So this button, no matter if you change the speed, the pitch of the song doesn't change. So listen. It's fun. Good job, Suze. for tuning in and tuning in to Susie Saturday. <laughs> Okay. Do you guys want me to keep DJing? Or us to keep DJing? Play a little bit more? You want Susie merch or Nike? Kevin, you can design the merch. I'm going to get rid of this. Damn. No more camera. That's good. No. No, I'll do it. Just playing random shit. Phone back. She just said, All right, I'll take the next song. Vibe. I told her pay attention to the master.
Susie. Eric Fletcher. Shrimp Security. Oh shit, Zach's in here? All right, everybody ready to judge her? <laughs> this is our first time going back to back. Husband and wife. Till train wreck do us part. Trying to like cheat the system now. I see. I see what you're doing. Oh no! I'm gonna put up the crackers stank face. Yep. <laughs> Look, you got crackers stank face. Yeah. Oh, that would have been on time, though, if you would. I did it, kind of. <laughs> you got the crackers stank face. I'm sorry. You tried to cheat. I saw you try to cheat. I didn't cheat. <laughs> she, she positioned a cue right before the drop. She was running out of time. Shout out to Mala. Isn't that what you're supposed to do if the song's about to end? Yeah, you can do anything you want, actually, so I take it back. All right, another one? She's going to she's gonna think of another song while I mix one. Saturday. I'm gonna turn off Cracker's skank, f <laughs> stank face, not skank face. I'm gonna put on cute face. Yeah, there we go.
speakers up. to the Suji, Suzy Emos, Suji. <laughs> to the night base discord gang penny boys
Hoodie, 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 hoodie,
Here we go. She's back. <laughs> She's ready. Turn the AC off. Turn the Susie on. Turn the Susie on. Drop. When you drop Doritos and cracker emotes, it makes her stronger. by Ranger Truco. PD Clicks uh, sent me this demo from this guy, Ranger Truco, and I played it on my demo stream a while back, and we signed it to Nightbeat. It's a fucking banger. Yo, 
this dude is sick too. Shout out to Chris Lake in the building. We played all your songs. We ran out of them. <laughs> out the ranger on this one it's called earring mix it up sooth yes lakey send me the new new Drop some Doritos for that mix, Suze. Woo! The feeling is crazy when you touch the Trace on the remix, shout out to Chami. Yo, don't get those lyrics up so easy. No, instead of anti-up, anti-up, we're pro-down.
Okay, Tony down, hands up when the bass kicks in, everybody stand up. Tony down, hands up when the bass kicks in, everybody stand up, stand up, everybody Tony down, hands up when the bass kicks in, everybody stand up. Tony down, hands up when the bass kicks in, everybody stand up, stand up, everybody When the bass kicks in, everybody, everybody Little VIP edit For real, shout out to Chris Lake, man. I miss you, bro. We live in the same city, but I can't see you. I have to be with her. that feeling crazy the focus Again, thank you everyone for joining us on Suzy Saturday, as it's now called. Hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. Shout out to Kevin Kaiser. Having sound issues. Jack Beats and Clank on the track.
Susie mows the lawn, Chris. Bitter by Drinks on Me and Incline. Banger. Shout out to Nina. Nina T. Rivers. Transmit to the world, that's a transmitter. Sick mix in a row. Susie fans.
See, that's what we talked about earlier. When it's not exactly on, you just adjust it a little bit with this side thing. A little slider side nudge. That's kind of hard is to figure out. <clears throat> is it faster or slower than it needs to be? You just have to be able to, to differentiate uh, one song from the other using the headphones. Just a little bit of experience. Oh, you're saying I'm um, inexperienced. You're my best student. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? I see your lips moving. But what you talking about? I see your lips moving. But what you talking about? But what you talking about? I see your lips moving. But what you talking about? But what you talking about? I see your lips moving. But what you talking about? Okay, what song should we end this with? came in not knowing how to mix at all and did a bunch of mixes and some dope ones. I see your lips moving, but I wanted to go full send. Someone's gonna get a request.
We're getting close to the end. Close to the end. Susie ran to get a track that someone requested. I don't think she's ever got music for DJing before, so I don't know what's going on in there. Susie about to be in a mix. Still getting that tune ready. (laughs) 
Last Mix by DJ Susie. Discord crew loves Henny for some reason, so you fit right in. Say hi to Henny Shot.
Henny shot in the building. Uh, Treasure Fingers wife. He taught her how to DJ and she said <laughs> she did a four day live stream. So now you guys, maybe you guys should go back to back. Uh, 